God, Creator, Redeemer, and Sanctifier. Amen. Peace be with you. And also with you. Lord God, your servant, Paul VI, Bishop of Rome, told us, if you want peace, work for justice. By meditating on the passion, death, and resurrection of your only begotten Son, may we be inspired to work for justice and to bring peace to our hearts, our homes, our country, and the world. Amen. Amen. The first station, Jesus is sentenced to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus was silent and did not answer. Again the high priest asked him, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? Jesus said, I am, and you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power, and coming with the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, Why do we still need witnesses? You have heard his blasphemy. What is your decision? All of them condemned him as deserving death. Lord Jesus, by standing in front of the powerful and proclaiming yourself the I Am, you demonstrated for us the need to speak truth to power in all things, even if it means being arrested or killed. Help us to risk speaking out for justice and peace, even when it is difficult. Amen. Lord, make us a means of your peace. The second station, <clears throat> Jesus receives the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. The people cried out, away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate answered, asked them, shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, we have no king but the emperor. Then Pilate handed Jesus over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus, and carrying the cross by himself, he went out to the place of the skull, which in Hebrew is called Golgotha.
in his heart, Pilate knew it was wrong to hand Jesus over to the mob to be crucified. He did so anyway, giving in to their shouts and threats. He did what seemed popular and prudent rather than what was just. Lord Jesus, help us to focus on your teachings. Assist each of us from simply going along in order to be part of the crowd. You alone are Lord of Lords. You alone are the Prince of Peace. Grant us your justice and peace. Amen. Lord, make, make us, us a means, means of, of your peace. peace. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. If the world hates you, be aware that it hated me before it hated you. If you belong to the world, the world would love you as its own. Because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the words that I said to you, servants are not greater than their master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. Lord Jesus, you bore the weight of the cross. You stumbled and fell, made weak by the hours of verbal and physical persecution and bullying you have already suffered. There is a part of humanity that will always reject God and the one whom God sent. This is the world that will always mock and persecute those who do good. Almighty God, we accept you in your triune majesty. We are grateful for being part of your chosen people who have been made one with you through the waters of baptism. Empower us to carry our own cross under bullying and persecution. Help each of us to bring justice and peace by meeting hatred with love. Amen. Lord, make us a means of your peace. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. From that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. Lord Jesus, as you hung upon the cross, you entrusted your mother to the disciple you loved. <clears throat> she became like the disciple's own mother. Each of us is like that disciple today. Your mother is now our blessed mother. It is our sorrowing blessed mother Mary, who watched her son and our brother carry his cross through the streets of Jerusalem. It is our Blessed Mother, Mary, who watched her son's body stripped and nailed to a cross. It is our beloved Mother Mary who waited as he slowly and painfully died. It is our Blessed Mother, Mary, who cradled his lifeless body in her arms and helped place him in the tomb. Today we see the injustice of innocence being killed through senseless violence, gunfire, drug abuse, and war. With our Blessed Mother, Mary, may we have the courage to stand with those who suffer, are in pain, or dying. May we, by our words and actions, bring about justice and peace. Amen. Lord, make us a means of your peace. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene, helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. 
because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As the soldiers led Jesus away, they seized a man, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming from the country, and they laid the cross on him, made him carry it behind Jesus. Lord Jesus, Simon of Cyrene was forced to help you carry your cross. May each of us embrace your cross and teachings willingly and follow you. Help us to confront and conquer our own fears and reluctance and to feel and cope with injustice. Help each of us, Lord, to be willing to take upon our own shoulders the pain and anguish of others. We want to be there for you and for others, working for justice and peace. Amen. Lord, make us a means of your peace. The sixth station, Veronica meets the, wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Then the righteous will answer the king, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of these, the least, as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Lord Jesus, many of your disciples did not know what to do when they watched you pass by on your way to Golgotha. It was a woman, Veronica, who tried to offer you some comfort. All she had at her disposal was her veil. She used it to wipe your, your face. What can we do, just as we are, do to alleviate suffering and bring comfort and peace to those in distress? May we each use whatever knowledge, abilities, or possessions we have to take action, no matter how small, to bring out justice and peace. Amen. Lord, make us a means of your peace. The seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by, by your holy cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases. Yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our, in our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. Lord Jesus, you fell a second time. You were enduring such suffering and pain, you bore our sins. You carried the cross for each of us and our sins. Such love and compassion you have for each person. O oh God, each of us has sinned through our own callousness and failure to love as you love. Change our hearts and make them like your own. Help us to love ourselves and others as you love. Let our sincere compassion and love for those who are suffering bring about justice and peace. Amen. Lord, make, make us, us a means of your, your peace. peace. The eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A great number of the people followed Jesus, and among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, 
but weep for yourselves and for your children. Lord Jesus, injustice is a sin against the peace you came to give the world. Injustice is a sin that afflicts, affects not only those living today, but generations to come. Today we hold the future of our children, our country, and the world in our hands. We weep as we witness the many injustices around us, racial inequality, income disparity, homelessness, and more. We grieve the spread of nuclear armaments, which could end civilization, and all life on our planet. Lord, give us an urgent desire to work for justice and peace. Amen. Lord, make us a means of your peace. The ninth station. Jesus falls for the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My soul clings to the dust. Revive me according to your word. When I spoke of my ways, you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous works. My soul melts away for sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. Jesus, you have fallen for the third time on the road to Calvary. You lay there, caked in dried blood, covered in dust, and jeered at by the mob. What hope can there be for those who seek to follow in your footsteps and bring justice and peace to the world? We, too, grow tired and weak from the persecution of the warmongers and those who place themselves above others. Yet we see the example you set for us as you rose yet again to continue your task. You showed us the importance of following God's plan for our lives, even if it means death. Lord, we pray, not just for ourselves, but for all people who desire justice and peace. Strengthen us to endure. Help us to finish the race by being true to your teachings. Amen. Lord, make, make us a means of your peace. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his clothing. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And they offered Jesus wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his clothes among them, casting lots to decide what each should take. Lord Jesus, you could have accepted the wine mixed with myrrh to dull the pain you were about to endure. Yet you did not. Rather, you endured the brutal agony of the crucifixion. You experienced the embarrassment of being stripped of your clothing. You felt each strike of the hammer nailing you to the wood of a cross. You heard the mocking jeers of the crowd as they amused themselves at your expense. Lord God, grant that we do not become numb and uncaring to those around us and to the world's situation. Strip us of our own bigotry, brutality, dishonesty, pride, and vanity. May we put on your compassion, holiness, and love. Show us what we must do to keep other innocents from the pain of injustice. May we help transform the world into your kingdom of peace. Amen. Lord, make, make us a means, means of, of your, your peace. peace. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. Two criminals were also led away to be put to death with him. When they came to the place that is called the skull, the soldiers crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus prayed for the soldiers, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Lord Jesus, you not only forgave those who, in their ignorance, were putting you to death, you asked God to forgive them as well. 
forgiveness is the most vital tool in our arsenal for fighting injustice. For when we forgive an injury, we bring about justice and peace. Lord, help us to pass from injury to pardon in our own lives. Amen. Lord, make us a means of your peace. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was now about noon, and darkness had come over the whole land until three in the afternoon, when the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying out with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. The death of the Messiah was a cosmic event. The light of the noonday sun faded as the light of Jesus passed from this world to the next. Darkness, where, e where evil thoughts and actions lay, took sway over the earth and its peoples. Yet, at his death, the veil that hid the Holy of Holies in the temple was torn opening to all of humanity free access to the love of God. Even his last words in his earthly body showed Christ's total and lifelong dedication to God. Lord Jesus, as we follow you to your death on the cross, may we abandon our own selfishness and devote ourselves to serving you by serving others. Use us to tear down that which keeps us from bringing your light, justice, and peace to the world. Amen. Lord, make us a means of your peace. The 13th station. Jesus' body is removed from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. After these things, Joseph of Arimathea, who was a secret disciple of, Je of Jesus for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate to let him take away the body of Jesus. Pilate gave him permission, so he came and removed Jesus' body. Lord God, your passion and death inspired Joseph of Arimathea to set aside his fears of being your follower, to step out into the light, to bravely approach Pilate, to request your son's body for burial. Lord, may the Holy Spirit, Spirit fill each of us with confidence. May we have the courage to stand up and be counted. May we publicly proclaim the justice and peace of Christ. Amen. Lord, make us a means of your peace. The 14th station. Jesus' body is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Taking down the body of Jesus, Joseph wrapped it in a linen cloth and laid it in a tomb at Badun out of the rock. He then rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Lord Jesus, your body was consigned to the grave, as are all who work for justice and peace. Some, like you, have been persecuted and tortured. Some have died in wars. Some have been assassinated. Others have been murdered. Most die quiet deaths after lives spent in your service. 
some are old, some are young. All of them have in common with you an eventual resurrection to eternal life. We ask all the saints of justice and peace surrounding the throne of God to pray for us. Help us take effective actions to heal the injustices that plague our lives. Help us to be agents of reconciliation in a world torn by sin. Help us attain new life in the kingdom where Jesus reigns with God the Creator and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, make us a means of your peace. Fifteenth Station, the Resurrection. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. God will dwell with them, and they will be God's people. And God will be with them, and will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Lord Jesus, the grave could not contain you. Your resurrection from the dead was the ultimate triumph over death. May all Christians embrace our new life in you by taking action in our world. By those actions, may we unite with you in transforming the world into a new creation of justice and peace. In your holy and blessed name, amen. Lord, make us a means of your peace. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as always before, so now and evermore. Amen. Let us depart in peace. In the name of God, Creator, Redeemer, and Sanctifier. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Next Friday, Good Friday, there will be two Stations of the Cross, one at noon and one at 3 p.m. Have a great evening and a wonderful weekend.